did you know that not playing is one of the most useful skills that you can know? I have been researching and learning how to tie multiple knots and how to use them in basically everyday life. I will show you how to show you how to tie and teach you the uses of the of the anchor band, the double sheet band, of Halimar, and a bowline knot. So this we're gonna start off with a story. You're on a boat and you get to your fishing spot and you gotta set you gotta put your anchor down. So we're gonna use this here as the anchor and you tie your anchor band knot. For the anchor band knot, you go around one time and around another time. And then you grab your end that you went around with, come back through, you pull that tight, and then you go back or go around this way and pull that tight. That knot is used by many fishermen to secure their anchor line, which it is, to their anchor. It is also, called, it's also known as the fisherman's hitch. This knot also is used by a fisherman to attach the fish hook to the leader. But of uh, your knot, I mean your anchor and your line isn't long enough to reach to the bottom, of the bottom of the water. So you must tie a double sheet band, which is uh, a knot mostly used to make other to make your uh, rope longer. You would start by putting putting your rope like this on the end that's tied, and then you grab your other rope, go through around, under it, and around one more time, and you pull that tight, and there is your double sheet band. The double sheet band is, like I said, you, where you tie two different ropes together. Of, most of the times it's of different, you can use a different material, and the different sizes can be used like I did here. So now that you got your anchor in the water, you time to tie your fish hook. This is our fish hook for the day. So the next knot that will be used is the palomar. It's this palomar, the palomar knot, is what my family uses exclusively for fishing. So you would go through like this. And then you grab your end, come back through, and you would have your line double like this. You might want to, you got to make it a little like a long. So then you would put them up together like this, and do a overhand knot, pull it through like this, and then you would go around around your fish hook. And then come back and pull it tight. Sometimes it will get caught like this and you must go loosen it. There we go. Uh, this knot we use is because we when we fish we use monofilament line. And when you have monofilament line, you do not want to uh, crimp it, which will weaken it. So you use this knot, which works really well and will stay very sturdy for all the time that you're fishing. The next knot is the, uh, the bowline knot. So we got done fishing, we're coming back to the dock and you must tie your boat up. So this is the shackle that's on the dock and you tie it. So you, for the bowline knot, you, uh, you get your loop, you make a, uh, you make a loop like this, a small loop, and then you grab your other end, go through the object that you want to. And for this knot, the, this is one of, the uh, most common knots that you know is very simple. And it's where you go, the rabbit comes out of the hole, 
goes around the tree and back down the hole and you pull it tight. See, and now you have a knot, even though it's a very simple, very easy knot, it will not ever come out. This is the only knot that will not cut itself under its heavy load. I have showed you the uses of the anchor bin, sheet bin, palomar, and bowler knot and showed you how to tie them. Knot tying is very useful for not only fishing, it can be used in many, many cases in life. 